Hi guys, it's Doug Adams. I'm at the Polar Kitchen in Portland, Oregon, and I'm so happy to be helping out Montana Conservation Boaters. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little demo today of something that reminds me of Montana. I was a Grizzly um, U of M, and when I think of Montana, I think about fly fishing. Um, so I have this beautiful rainbow trout. I got a fire going behind me. So we're gonna do a dish that you can make really, really easily, sit around a campfire, um, so let's get going. It's very simple. We have trout, dill, a sweet yellow onion. I got some lemon, some cherry tomatoes, and some fennel. All this is local in Portland, but um, should be able to get it out there when the season's right. Um, we're going to be cooking this in a cast iron pan, not over the grill. So I got a nice big cast iron pan. It's always a good thing to have, especially if you're a camper. I'm going to settle that right on the fire. Okay, so our fish, rainbow trout, it's been cleaned, it's been scaled. I'm not going to take the time to stuff this trout because I really want this trout to cook pretty quick. I don't want to slow this down because I really like my trout super moist and I find that the, the faster I cook it, the better it's going to be unless you're slow smoking it. So I'm going to give this a nice even seasoning of salt all along that fish. I'm also going to cook this with the head and the tail on. Give it a little pepper as well. Flip that guy over. So salt, pepper, inside and outside. And we're going to go in the pan. This is a beautiful rainbow trout. So my pan is pretty hot. I see movement in the olive oil, which is important. And I see just a little bit of smoke. Obviously there's smoke coming from the fire, but I want just a tiny bit of smoke coming from the oil. So that's great. I can hear it cooking. That's some moisture leaving the skin. That's what we want. We want a nice crispy skin. So while that's going, I'm going to clean up some fennel. Fennel is very classic with fish. It's aromatic and kind of cleansing. I'm just going to go nice thin slices. So we're going to cook this entire dish in this cast iron pan. Now I'm going to do my onion. I love Montana and I travel there often to fish. I fish the Bitterroot Valley or the Big Mo. It's so important that we protect those resources. My best buddy is a fly fishing guide out at Ranch and Rock Creek. And I get to spend a lot of time there. And it shows you how important that is when you get to see God's country in full, full force. I'm going to bring this over here so you guys can see this fish cooking in the pan. I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. This dish is all about the olive oil and lemon juice too. Very, very important. So as I'm cooking, I'm just going to make sure I'm not sticking. We're looking great. Beautiful. A little bit of movement is nice. Make sure everything is cooking nice and even. Okay, so back to our prep. We have some onion and some fennel. Just thin sliced, nothing crazy. This is not a fine dining or fancy, fancy dish. This is just all about good flavors, which you want to eat around a campfire. Some cherry tomatoes. I'm not going to cut these guys. All I'm going to do is just take off the stem. So basically this dish, once we cook this trout, we're going to add our vegetables to kind of sear around the trout. And we're going to make a really super simple pan sauce. So I got a good amount of them. These are going to kind of break down that pan, release some juices. It's going to make a really nice sauce with lemon juice and all of them. This could be done prior if you're camping, just have it all ready to go. So easy, easy. Just to get ahead, I'm going to cut my lemon. Let's go check our fish. Just 
ever so slightly. And now I'm going to flip my fish. I'll show you this again. So we got beautiful crispy skin. Look at that. Cooking just where we want it. So now I'm going to add my vegetables. Tomatoes over here. Onions and fennel. And we're just going to let that go. So if you can tell, my fire is really hot. I'm not going crazy. I have some nice coals. Almost like you were cooking on medium high heat. So I like cooking the cast iron pan on the coals themselves instead of a ton of fire because you can just control it a lot more a lot more easily. So we have some dill. Gotta have it with trout. It's my favorite thing in the world. Again, I'm not gonna go crazy and trim this up. Super duper nice. Take a little fennel fronts too because it's super delicious. So I'm gonna season my vegetables as well. And stir it around. My cherry tomatoes are just starting to blister, which is what we want, and they're starting to release that beautiful juice. And our fish we know is cooking and it's getting nice nice and smoky as well just gently moving this around feel like I should be sipping on a beer or maybe some good bourbon hopefully after a day of a lot of cutthroat trout or brown trout so we're almost there which is great I got my landing pad for my fish which is also great been in the pan on that trout for about seven minutes which is a pretty good amount of time three and a half minutes you got the backbone in that trout that needs to get to temperature too so we're getting really close other great thing about not stuffing your trout is you can peek and see where the dump is in so my pan is rocking and I got a lot of residual heat around that pan my fish is done Oh, it smells so good. Reminds me of Montana. I'm just working with vegetables. I'm going to kind of systematically start to smash my little tomatoes a little bit as well. That's just releasing some moisture. Really turning this into a sauce. Now while I'm still on the flame, I'm gonna hit it with a nice big hit of lemon juice. One more for good measure. Beautiful. Now we're gonna sauce our fish and we're done. As you can see, this will take you 10 minutes around a campfire. Best in a good cast iron pan because it will go a long way with your camping. As you can tell, I had zero stick on my skin. That's because I've used this cast iron pan for a long time and taken really good care of it. So I'm just going to spoon this beautiful sauce all the way around this fish. What I love about trout, especially camping, it's so good for breakfast. You can throw some eggs on this here the night before hangover. We'll do it for dinner. All right. Oh my God, it smells so delicious. 
And then we just have this deal with fennel. We just kind of get it all over. Dillon trout is such a classic combination. All oil and lemon juice. This is could be cooking this in the Montana backcountry, but also straight out of an old school French cookbook, which is kind of funny. Depending on the time of year, if you found some beautiful morels while you were fishing, throw those in a little butter, add them to this dish, you'd be you'd be in heaven. So there it is, guys. You can see it's just swimming in this beautiful sauce of the tomato juice and olive oil. Super duper quick dish, rainbow trout. I'm so pumped to be helping out. Um, I can't wait to get up to Montana and spend some time with Bozeman and hope to say hi to all y'all. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.